How to make a beer trap for slugs. Got slugs? Come learn how to make DIY beer traps to attract and kill slugs, snails, pill bugs and more. Homemade beer traps are a cheap, easy and effective way to control slug populations in the garden when necessary. They really do work. As organic gardeners, we're never on a mission to outright eradicate anything. Nor should a garden be perfect, free of pests or occasional plant damage. Yet following an unusually extra wet winter, our garden has been overrun with more slugs than ever this spring. So in an effort to reduce their population, protect our plants from further damage, and avoid the use of chemical slug bait, we set up a few slug beer traps instead. How slug beer traps work The yeasty, malty aroma of the beer is what attracts slugs, not the actual alcohol. How can slugs smell without a nose? Slugs have two pairs of feelers. The top or larger pair carry their eyes, while the smaller pair are home to scenting organs. Slugs will smell the beer and crawl to the trap, over the edge, and into feed on the beer. They may either drown or die of alcohol poisoning. However, a few slugs will stop in at your garden tavern for some beer and then escape to be on their way. The trap doesn't get them all every time. Welcome to, The Guardian's Choice. This video will tell you, how to garden perimeter snail traps, and plastic bottle snail trap. So keep watching, get your solution, and, enjoy. Things you should know. 1. Make a snail and slug beer trap by pouring beer into four plastic cups. Bury the cups around the perimeter of your garden, leaving the rim out of the soil. 2. Cut the top off of a plastic bottle, invert it, and stick it back in the bottle. Fill the trap with beer and plant it in your garden to kill slugs and snails. 3. Every three days, empty either type of trap and fill it with fresh beer. Method 1. Garden Perimeter Snail Traps Number 1. Find a suitable container for your beer trap. The container needs to be deep enough to allow slugs and snails to fall in without being able to crawl out again. Deep containers also ensure that the beer won't evaporate too quickly. You could use a tuna tin, an empty aluminum pie tin, or a small dish. Plastic drinking cups, leftover yogurt containers, and the bottoms of plastic soda bottles are also suitable. Number 2. Bury your beer trap container in your garden. Bury your beer trap container in your garden, keeping the rim 1 inch, 2 cm above the soil. If the container is at or below the soil's level, you might also kill the ground beetles that eat slugs. If the lip of the container is too high, though, the garden snails will find entering the container difficult. Use a simple hand trowel to dig a spot for the container in your garden. Plant the container snugly into the hole. Backfill the hole with soil if necessary to achieve a sturdy fit. Number 3. Set the traps 3 feet apart. Beer traps only attract snails from the immediate area. The number of traps you'll need to make depends on the size of your garden. If you have a garden with perimeters of 9 feet, 3 meters by 9 feet, 3 meters, for instance, you'll need 9 beer traps. Number 4. Fill your trap halfway with beer. Snails aren't picky about what sort of beer they drink. Any good brew will do. As an alternative to beer, you could mix 2 tablespoons of flour, 1 half teaspoon of brewer's yeast, 1 teaspoon of sugar, and 2 cups of warm water. Use this mixture instead of beer. Some recipes do not include flour, so you may be able to leave it out if you don't have any. Number 5. Add some yeast to make the trap more attractive. A few pinches of baker's yeast can make the trap even more enticing for garden snails. Just sprinkle the yeast over the beer and mix it in with a spoon. Number 6. Empty the traps every 2 or 3 days. 
The beer will lose its potency over time, so you'll have to pour the old beer out and add new beer every couple days. If it rains in your beer traps, you'll have to empty them then, too. There's no need to empty traps filled with dead snails. Other snails will be attracted to their friends' decomposing bodies. Pour the beer and dead garden snails into a disused part of your yard or into your compost pile. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Plastic bottle snail trap. Number 1. Cut off the top third of a 2-gallon plastic soda bottle. Drill three holes into the bottom and top half. The holes should have a diameter of about a quarter centimeter, one-eighth inch, and be located equidistant from each other. They should be about half a centimeter, a quarter inch from the edge you cut. Number 2. Join the top half and the bottom half. Remove the cap from the top and stick it into the bottom half upside down. Rotate the two pieces so that the holes line up. Pass a twist tie or some thread through the holes to tie the two pieces together. Number 3. Plant the container in the soil with the lip of it 1 inch, 2 cm above the edge of the soil. Since this beer trap is longer, it will require a bit more digging than the other sort of beer trap. Use a hand trowel to dig out enough soil so that when the trap is placed in it, the top edge rises about one inch above the edge of the soil. Maintenance and placement of this larger trap is the same as with the regular traps. In other words, fill it halfway with beer, sprinkle some yeast in it for greater efficacy, empty it every two or three days, and place it three feet from other traps. This trap could prove more effective than a regular beer trap, since snails will be unable to leave once they slide in to get the beer. Adding a small fence around the garden can help them from eating your vegetables and herbs. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Why do slugs like beer? Because slugs like to party. Just kidding. Slugs are attracted to beer primarily because of the sweet, fermented yeasty aroma. That said, other forms of fermented yeast may attract slugs too, including watered-down sourdough starter. Yes, we tried it, and it works quite well. Tips These traps are not a guarantee that the snails will be gone. Some snails will simply take a sip of beer and crawl away. Don't give up. Try again or try a different deterrent. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.